welcome everyone. Thank you for coming to the Claremont Christmas Parade. This is our 19th year, and we are hoping for many more. This has been the biggest parade we've had in ages. The weather has been wonderful. The turnout is great. People have been coming in. Oh, by the way, my name is Bob Ikoval. I'm the president of Claremont Coalition, and you are the organizer of this parade. And I want to thank the fire police, the local state police, county police, who help with the logistics and getting this parade together. And I want to make a special thanks to Barbara Harbin, who works every year very hard, along with all the other volunteers, to put this parade together. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, everyone. Uh, at this point, I'd like to introduce Rick Jensen for the rest of the program. All right. Big round of applause for Mabon. And uh, the Claymont Revitalization Committee, of course, uh, the, and the parade organizers. Great job. 19 years, and they almost got it right. <laughs> no. I, I mean, it was like, what, 50 or 60 units this year? And, and the first time, it was like a uh, kid with a wagon and three cops, and look how it's grown, just like Claymont. And that's what the weed's all about, really. The weed's all about the resilience of Claymont. You get knocked down, but you get up again. No one's going to keep you down, right? We're tough thumping, exactly. That's what the weed's all about, and everybody who likes to support Claymont, including myself. I want to thank Governor John Carney. He had to run up to like five other events. He was at the very beginning of his parade. He grew up in Claymont, and he says hello. So say, because we're on video, hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Senator Tom Carper, Tom Wagner, our state auditor, uh, Councilman John Cartier, who's always a corner here, and say a couple of words. We invite the politicians to come and say a couple of words, and I mean a couple of words. <laughs> this is so much fun for me. As a talk show host, they go on and on and on and on. So, I, so do I. Go on. And, but I get to time them to 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. I want to thank uh, Claymont Community time Coalition. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. I missed it. He's a friend sometimes. All right. Uh, Councilman John Cartier, I want to thank uh, everybody who organized the parade for the first responders, the Claymont Community Coalition. Glad to be the councilman for Claymont. Looking forward to the 20th parade. 20th anniversary, hard to believe. I think I've been here for about half of it. And with that, everybody have a safe and enjoyable holiday season. Merry Christmas, and we're going to decorate the weed. Boom! Boom! 30 seconds exactly. He's been, he's done this before. I know Kathy Clunier was uh, here. If, uh, if you're here, you'd like to say a couple of words. Any other state, county, Robin Bryson, of course, the mayor of Claymont, WDL Traffic Watch. I know that he was here. Yeah. So if you would like to uh, decorate the weed, uh, we're going to do that after the blessing. Thank you to the Grand Marshals, uh, John King, President, and uh, Terry Kelly, Vice President of Eagle One Federal Credit Union. Yeah. Big sponsors, big supporters of Claymont. They always uh, support each and every year. Thank you for um, the monetary supporters. In other words, they wrote checks and they cleared. <laughs> Claymont Historical Society, Newcastle County Councilman John Cartier, American Legion, uh, R.C. DuPont Post 18, Kenneth Dahl and the Boy Scouts of America Troop Number 70, Peacemakers, Fox Point, Babe Ruth League, Right Choice Child Care, and Dance Delaware Studios. Big round of applause. Thank you for the advertising support, Delaware Digital Video Factory. They were videotaping right now. They maintain the parade website and video the parade every year. Reva Brown School, uh, Reva Brown of Stone School, uh, for submitting all the Claymont events for today to various advertising and news venues. Uh, Naaman's Beverage Mart, 109 Naaman's Road. Stop by for all your beverage needs. Featuring the parade information on their electronic sign. WDEL, uh, Rick Jensen, I hate that guy. Advertising the parade during his radio program, acting as MC. They have to get a real pro though, don't you think? I mean, someone knows what they're doing. Signscape for updating our yard signs for free! Yay! Enterprise Flasher Company for all those annoying flashes that keep people safe. We love them, even though we hate them, but we love them. And they have all the traffic control signs free! Yay! Now, please welcome Pastor Chris, because we do need to have the blessing of the tree. Yay. Edit that, will you? Weed. Yeah. Weed. Thank you. <laughs> Almighty 
God. We thank you for this opportunity to gather together as a community on this blessing of the wheat here in Claremont. Let this small plan be for us a reminder that great things can come from humble beginnings. Let this plant, which in its first year pushed through concrete and survived many attempts to remove it, and appear it again and again, remind us of the importance of persistence for this community of Claymont, which has now survived for over 200 centuries, two centuries on the banks of the Delaware. But the plant's humble shape remind us that something that is plain can become beautiful, and that the worth of a person or a community is determined not by the clothes they wear or the car they drive, but by who they are. As the first Claymont weed pushed up through the hard surface of the concrete to claim its place in the sun, let us feel the same commitment to push back against injustice and intolerance wherever we find it, in our community or our nation. Finally, as we celebrate this Claymont Day 2017, let us rededicate ourselves to the values which have made our community great as a safe, friendly, and nurturing community. Let Claymont be a model for the nation, of people living and working together in a spirit of mutual tolerance and respect. Let us draw even wider our circle of compassion to include people of all races, religions, ethnicities, and classes. The Claymont may continue to be, in the words of scripture, a shining city set upon a hill here on the banks of the Delaware. Amen. Amen. If you would like to put an ornament upon the eternal Christmas weed, go right ahead, announce who you are, and go ahead and put the ornament on, and we'll do that. Would you like to announce? Okay, would you like to do it here? That's fine. Sure. Friends of the Claymont Library, I'd like to invite everyone next Saturday to join us at noon for a concert by Synergy, uh, followed by on immigration. Nice, very nice. Also, appreciation to uh, Mike Elder and the Claymont Fire Police and all the surrounding fire police associations who donated their time to set the parade detours and guide the traffic through as well. Who, would, who else would like to uh, have a uh, presentation here? Okay. And then, by the way, we're going to sing the original Christmas weed song, okay? That's coming up as well. On behalf of the Claymont Historical Society, our newest member yes. here will put something on the tree for us. And I'd like to tell everybody that December the 10th, next Sunday afternoon, from two to four, Santa and Mrs. Claus will be arriving at the Darley House. So for your little children, you're all welcome to come. Nice, all right. Yeah, the problem with history is the younger you are, you are, and the more you have to learn. <laughs> yes, who do you have? Hi, we're from Bellevue State Park. Um, uh, we do have next week our Jingle Bell Hayride. If you want to get into the holiday spirit, not that this didn't do any uh, good food, this is awesome. But we do have our Jingle Bell Hayride next Saturday at 3 p.m. We do have slots open. Uh, come out and join us, and we'll have a good time. That's a great park, great events, and every summer, all, all the concerts during the summer as well. What do we have here? Would you like to have a little announcement? No announcement. Uh, I'm from uh, R.C. DuPont, Post 18 here in Claymont, the American Legion. And we're here to put... All righty, thank you very much. Well done. No announcements. Also, thanks to the Claymont Fire Company for using their meeting rooms, escorting Santa in the parade. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm from Fox Point, and we got... All right, folks, uh, go ahead and step on up. I'd like to gather uh, the, the coral as well. Hi, I'm, oh, go ahead. Hi, I'm from Claymont AARP, Chapter 175. We meet the second Thursday of every month at Atonement Methodist Church at 1 o'clock. Please come and join us. Thank you. Very nice. Step on up. Hi, I'm Eileen McCormick, and I'm representing... Holy Rosary, Boy Scouts, and Cub Scouts, who have been continuously chartered for the last 62 years in Claymont, and this ornament was made by the Scouts. And by the way, she was a great representative on that 101.7 FM at WDEL live interview, and didn't uh, mess anything up, and you were great. 
All right, uh, Greta, could, could all the, uh, the singers please uh, gather around over here? Just on behalf of Delaware Digital Video Factory, Merry Christmas. We have DVDs in the back there. See the boys as you leave. And we're going to leave one in the tree, too. All right. Now, if anybody would like to make a special dedication uh, for their ornament on the tree, step right up. Otherwise, uh, we'll just let everybody go ahead and uh, put their ornaments on the tree. And would anybody like to make a special dedication? Yeah, on behalf of the Clement Community Chorus, which is currently a hiatus because our 93-year-old pianist is incapacitated and we're looking for another volunteer, but we have an ornament for the tree this year. Yeah, a lot of people have moved there. It's capacitated Iowa, right? In, in town? Never mind. Go right ahead. I would like to invite everyone who has some time to come back here to Church of the Ascension. We have a nativities display. There are over 150 nativities from around the world. It's free. There will be cookies and beautiful music. It's on Saturday from 9 to noon. I'm sorry, Saturday to 9 from 12 to 6 and Sunday from 9 to 3. We have flyers inside if you'd like to grab one. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Claymont Community Chorus, singing a song written by Andy McGee. Yes, there really is a song about the Claymont Christmas weed. If you know the words, I'm amazed. Even they are carrying the words. On a concrete island on an overpass A crack appeared, then a blade of grass The wind blew up and bore a sea And in that crack there grew a weed Weed, a weed, a bonny bonny weed It grew to maturity from a seed It's a miracle they say, oh yes indeed And it happened right there in Claymont now the wheat grew up while all around Conditions were so harsh on that fallow ground Through a concrete barrier the stock it came But our bonny wee wheat, it flourished just the same The same, the same, it flourished just the same And slowly but slowly grew its fame It's a miracle they say and we'll make the claim That it happened right there in flame up Throughout December our wheat survived It not only grew but began to thrive The townsfolk crawl were so impressed That they shouted out loud This town is blessed Blessed, blessed, this town is blessed The cheerful voice each one confessed It's a miracle they say And who could have guessed That it happened right there in Clima now some folk decided both there and then To decorate the weed and start a trend By hanging lights and decorations too The Christmas sweet reputation grew Grew, it grew, its reputation grew To the Christmas sweet fame did accrue It's a miracle they say And out of the blue It happened right there in Lima Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, God bless, and from all of us at 101.7 FM, 1150 AM, WDEL, thank you, sincerely, honored to be a part of the Claymont Christmas Parade each and every year. Thank you.